People always say they get emotional during finales, they start crying and stuff, and you know, before I couldn't relate, but now that we're at the finale of this tutorial series, you can't see it, but there are tears dripping down my face. Wait, that's the sound of one hitting the microphone. It's okay to cry. I mean, this has been an important part of your life, has it not? So to see it end, wow. <laughs> Either way. So, we have the basic everything, right? We have asteroids, we have them moving randomly, we have a ship. This looks like something that would get a 3 out of 10 on IMDb, which isn't bad because it's procedural, so I'll take it. Um, and now we want to kind of recover this. It's kind of like we got a wounded soldier. His leg is shot, he's bleeding out, and we're like, we can salvage this, right? Right? <laughs> That's what we're going to try to do. So, if we render this... An average frame looks like this. It really isn't that bad, but we can make it look so much better. So we're going to do a bit of compositing, and then we're going to send this to DaVinci and uh, just kind of beat up the shit out of the footage in hopes that we can make it look better. So uh, for this, render a frame so that we can go to compositing. So we already have all the logic and all this. So the animation's baked in, in some sense. We could change the parameters and all this, but... We have the animation baked in. So for this frame, let's try adding in a couple things. First thing we can do, lens distortion. Uh, I want this to have a bit of a barrel distortion like this. Hit fit so that it's within the bounds. And we want to make sure it's not so distorted that you can kind of tell. Uh, so divided by 10. So let's see. This is before and after. It will just kind of subconsciously make you think, wow, it looks good. <laughs> Take this. We'll also use it for the dispersion. Uh, dispersion is basically this chromatic aberration right here. So let me disable. Enable. You see there's the colors on the star. Don't worry about it. It looks cool. Um, another thing that I found looks cool, especially for this, and I, I know we're going for an old school look, and this will help with that, but especially since this is a space game, the sunbeams, they look cool. What sunbeams are is they basically emit rays from the brightest parts of the image, as you can see, like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and just kind of overlay it. Now, the order of operations here, not correct. We want this first, I believe, right? And then the lens distortion. So let's see. Uh, we have the sunbeams. We want to mix this together with the original image. Otherwise, it's a disaster zone. So we're going to add it the other way uh, so that we have our image. Then we are adding the sunbeams, which lets us actually control the strength of them. And I'm just going to pick kind of like a moderate thing. But you can see this kind of gives it a very nice spacey look. And we can maybe mess around with these. So I don't want the rays to be too long, actually. Because that would be distracting. But something like that just kind of makes it feel more video gamey. And anything we can do to increase that is uh, good in my book. So here's the original. Here's the, uh, not the final, but the composite. So we have the sunbeams. We have the uh, lens distortion that's happening at the very end. Maybe we could bring up the dispersion by 50%. Cool. So I'm thinking we could do more stuff in the compositor. But again, the heavy lifting is going to be done um, outside of this in DaVinci or something like that. So let's, um, let, let, let's render a little segment and see what we can do. So in my, in my wisdom, we start by opening DaVinci. And now let's render a bit just so we're not wasting time. Um, so with this, let's render out not too many. Oh, by the way, we, we were at 24. Let's go to 30 frames per second, uh, which is good because at 30 frames per second, it will look like it's a bit smoother and faster in all this. Uh, let's try rendering out like 90 frames. You know what? 100 frames. It's Eevee. Let's splurge. <laughs> One in Rome. Um, I'm going to render out a video. What kind of video? Not a much. I don't know who's using Matroska. You got all those uh, Russians out there, and they're, like, planning. What? <laughs> Either way, I don't know who uses Matroska. So I'm just going to use MP4 at perceptually lossless, because I don't want to actually render lossless, because that's a large file size. But perceptually lossless, good enough for me. So uh, let's do a sample 100 frame render, and uh, save, and render. And it should be super quick. So again... All procedural. Look at that. Was it worth it? <laughs> I don't know. So we're going to have this render. And then can I even exit full screen when I'm in this? Yes, I can. So as this renders, let's set up uh, DaVinci. So I'm going to make a new project. This is going to be our sample project. We're going to import our footage <laughs> once it's done. Yes, I'm rendering live. I'm a madman. And I'm basically just going to slap on a single effect 
and it's going to recover this. So we just got to wait. Meanwhile, let me tell you another story of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's not like I don't have any stories, but I'm like, which ones would not be weird about me? Sto oh, it's already over. <laughs> so, so there you go. Uh, let's import in our footage. So go here, go here, go here. <laughs> and, oh, fuck. And uh, import that in. Change so that it's actually 30 frames per second, 1080p. So here's our render. Maybe decreasing the sunbeams might have been a move. But it looks so cool with the blinking light, I think. Um, let's recover this. So really, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to sna sna slap, slap, <laughs> slap on some analog damage. So put on the analog damage. There's a lot of versions of this, so you could do early television, which if you were to do something like this, and you're like, oh, the screen's too small, go to TV construction, bring up this thing, and like this thing, and that will make it kind of visible. Again, maybe not that one, but there's a lot of versions of this. So here, here's what I mean. You take the mask, and now you can see. So this kind of gives it kind of an old TV look. I found the one that I like the best is old VHS. This will make it feel very, I don't know. This isn't how you'd see a video game. You wouldn't like be playing it on a VHS. It'd be more like a phosphorus tint screen, but I like it. So let, let's dial into settings. So. The ghosting, this kind of like tr half transparent overlay, I like it, but it's a bit too much. So let's go to broadcast signal, take the ghosting, which is this one, right? And uh, take the offset and bring it down just so it's kind of closer to the source. We could also do some other stuff <laughs> uh, like mess around with the chroma misalignment, whatever. Um, but I'm thinking maybe the only other thing is I'm going to take the noise and maybe make it less intense. So this is kind of like a noise overlay. I'm just going to bring that down. Let's see what this looks like. Like, yes, we're taking our footage and like degrading it to the point where you can't see it anymore. But I think it looks pretty good. So, you know, you render something that's a bit longer. And now uh, let me show you the original. I think it was this one. So this is actually the one that didn't have the, I didn't yet apply the thing. So let me just import that in here. And all we need to do is a quick replacement. So this is a longer render uh, with a ship that I spent a bit more time designing. But you can see, in essence, it's the same thing. Um, all we do is, again, analog damage. I'm going to set it to old VHS. Bring down the ghosting uh, offset. Bring down the signal noise. And now let's see what a longer render looks like. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it works, and uh, it's procedural, so you can make it faster. You can change the asteroid seed. You can actually, one, one thing I didn't mention, by the way, yes, this is the time to mention it now that we're like pretty much done. Uh, we can also mess with the spacing. I mean, we just kind of took it for granted because I didn't. I was probably talking about Subway or something at the time. Uh, we take it for granted, but right now we have a spacing of six for both of these. So we, we can change that. I mean, zero makes no sense because there's no way for it to dodge. But the more we increase it, the more it should be able to dodge. But it, it does need some minimum value. But you can see it's kind of working, especially when we go like that. So you can change like the spread if you don't want it to be so insane like it was at six, but then you need to reposition the camera. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's it, right? <laughs> we, we talked about everything. So, you know... Again, it's not, you're, you're not not a man if you cry, right? Right? Thank you.